Hi, and welcome to the Moto Vlog. When did it happen for you, your love of motorcycles? Do you remember the precise moment? Do you remember the bike that did it? Here's my story. When I was in about fifth grade, my dad, who was a welder, got into this thing where he would build, I, I wouldn't even call them go-karts, I called them contraptions. He would take motors and weld up a frame and put any kind of wheels he could find on the thing and guess who was his test pilot? Well, this went on for a couple years until he got into this thing of putting motorcycle engines into his contraptions. I'll never forget, he brought home a, I think it was 250cc motorcycle no front end, all busted up, obviously a wreck, and he put it in a go-kart. And, you know, it had gears and a clutch and all kinds of cool stuff. And he takes me out to this uh, big parking lot, puts me in this and goes, okay, here's how you shift. Starts this thing and launches me. And I remember thinking, wow, what? What? This is cool, right? And I didn't want it to end. I went, oh great, you know, at some point he's gonna call me back or I'm gonna run out of gas or I'm gonna break down and I'm gonna have to go in. And funny how not much has changed. Well, during this bringing home wrecked motorcycles period, one day, he brings home a Harley Hummer, and it's a complete bike. I mean, it starts, it runs, he leans it up against this tree. Yeah, I'm gonna pull the engine out of this thing, right? So he goes off to work, and I cut out of school, come back home, grab this thing, and take it out into the cow pastures behind our house. Now, this thing was not street legal, and it was set up as a trail bike. It had knobby tires on it and such. And absolutely perfect for what I was doing, which was banging around these old cow trails, right? See that kid looking at the bike? Whoa, that might have been his moment. But anyway, I just remember the freedom of it, that's what knocked me out. I just, I went, I felt like I was flying. Now, here's what started this whole train of thought. I was watching one of those TED Talks, you know, and they were interviewing the guy who does that jet man thing, right? You know who I'm talking about? He straps this wing to himself and he jumps out of an airplane and flies around to infinity and beyond, you know? And the question that got me was, they said to him, okay, you've been a commercial pilot, you've been a jet fighter pilot, you've flown everything under the sun. What made you want to strap a wing to your back? And he said, well, you know, with all those other kinds of planes, you're still surrounded by metal. You still don't get the true feeling of flight. I want it to be free, be in the wind. What does that sound like? And I was thrown back to the first time I rode through those cow pastures. And I've been examining what it is about that first time yeah, it was the freedom. Yeah, I felt like I was flying, but also, and I'm speaking just for me now. It was the danger, the danger of it. It felt dangerous on four wheels, and I'd done this a lot, screaming around parking lots. It just didn't have that, whoa, I might blow at any moment, right? And that's part of what I like about motorcycles. That's why when anyone says to me, isn't it dangerous? My answer is always, yeah. 
That's what I like about it. And all the things that are really fun are kind of dangerous. Admit it. Right? Like you hear people, ah, that damn cager, look at that guy cutting in front of me. Oh, that idiot, he almost killed me. Sometimes, more than complaining, I think those guys are bragging. I survived, he didn't get me, look at that. See how macho I am to have to put up with all of this? Danger is an interesting thing. Like, you ever notice how some girls, the girls you would never expect to be attracted to some hoodlum? Here's this guy, you know, and he's just right, and you're thinking, man, what does she see in him? It's gotta be danger. Because guys, the equivalent is, you know that nuts girl you see at the party, the one with the crazy hair and too much mascara, right? She's got black fingernails and she's no model by any stretch of the imagination and you're attracted to her. There's something that kicks in that goes, you know, there's a real vibe going here. My dad was physically and mentally abusive. He was basically an alcoholic, and life at the house was hell. I left at a very early age, and as an adult came back and asked my mother one time, why did you leave this guy? Why did you hang out for all these years? And she said, well, at least it wasn't boring. And maybe that's a bad analogy, but that's one of the things you really like about motorcycling, what it isn't. And that's boring. People drive back and forth to work every single day, bored out of their minds in their cars. You do it on a motorcycle, you got stories to tell when you get there. I mean, who wants a perfect world, you know? You've heard that story, right? Where the guy dies and then he ends up in this beautiful setting, clouds and perfect sunsets, and he's going, oh man, I'm dead. So he goes to play a game of golf, hole in one, every single time he hits the ball. Goes to play some chess, can't lose. He's like Bobby Fischer. Everything he tries, turns out absolutely perfect. And he turns to someone and says, you know, I never thought heaven would be like this. And the guy says, heaven? What are you kidding? This is hell. 